So hello everyone and today we're live on YouTube and today we are discussing plenty of plenty of talking points which is all going around Arsenal today that today the transfer market for the summer of 2024 is really really hotting up and we've been joined by Charlie so how are you doing? Yeah I'm all right um just starting to recover from Wednesday now. I'm not going to lie. I was fuming yesterday, yeah. but yeah. I feel a little bit better. And I guess looking forward to tomorrow night because we have to win. So, yeah. It's a massive game tomorrow. It's a massive it game. It is. Massive, and, mate. Um, we need to get back to winning ways because if we don't get that winning winning streak, it's not going to look good. But we It's do done, have, yeah. The league's done, done if we don't win tomorrow. Completely. So... Of course, we do, do, do have plenty of transfer windows. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to Charlie as well. And also subscribe to my channel as we're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So, of course, we're going to discuss about the main topic. Um, big up to Plasma. Welcome to the chat. How are you? I hope you are good. Big up to Tamina as well. Stan Kroenke is back in Mikel Arteta with another 250 minutes. Well, it's 200. Um, but Arsenal player is Isak and Elise Gomares and Gukarez as well. There is plenty of talking points. Hello, Plasma. Welcome to the chat with you. If anyone can share this stream, I've got really a lot of interesting things to talk about. Just retweet it. It does really appreciate it. And um, I do apologise yesterday that there wasn't a, a match reaction for the Europa League as I was too tired for coming home. So, guys, plenty of content over the weekend to keep an eye on this channel. So, let's talk about the first, first, first main thing I want to talk about. Is that Arsenal are now being linked with two of these men. Charlie. Alexander Isaac and Mikel Elise. Right. I want to get your initial thoughts. Mikel Arteta says that apparently Stan Kroenke, right, has now given Mikel Arteta another 200 million war chest. Yep. Honestly, I love Isaac. I hope we bring Look, this guy I, in, man. He Isaac, is really for good. Me, yeah. Isaac, for me, I want to get your initial thoughts. We'll start off with Isak, right? We were linked to this guy in January, I think it was 2022, right? And... I remember there was little rumours going around that apparently he was spotted at Heathrow Airport. Arsenal, Newcastle were going to put a oh, I remember that, field. yeah. I didn't believe it. <laughs> they saw the number plate in North London. I remember when he was at Real Sociedad, yeah. But honestly, yeah. this guy is a really good player. You know what? The way he plays reminds me a little bit of Henri. I know, it, just the way he plays, yeah, he's yeah, just got that, I don't know, he's got that. Yeah. Game, um, game to him, like the way that style of play. He's a really good player. I don't know how much he'll cost, but if we could get him in, he'd be an excellent striker. He's scoring I lots of goals. Me, I think for me, he's in good right. form. Good, good I, player, man. Good to player. me, what, Alexander Isaac, do you know what he reminds me of? He kind of reminds me of a little bit of like an Ian Wright. Ian Wright. He's got that little swagger about him. He's got that style. He, of course, he's got that little finisher about him. And for me, what I really like about him, like I remember, I said this on an old channel, well, someone's channel, but of course he's not around anymore. It's a shame, really, but I'm not going to mention it who because it's not right to say. But I remember I said to him, not for me, not for me, not for me, for Isaac. But now I've seen him, forget Ivan Tony, right? Yeah. Forget that guy, Josh. I know you you are addicted to Ivan Tony. True good. <laughs> listening to this or not, whether you're not listening to this or not, you can watch it on playback. I know I was bitching and moaning about Ivan Tony, but the only way I would take Ivan Tony is if, if that 30, 40 million release clause is true. You're that. right, Tony. But, but oh, Isaac's this is been the really one good. we must go and get. Isaac's about twenty two years old. 24, and, but that's, yeah, 24. 24. Uh, 24. Yeah, 24. That's, that's nothing, though, is it? You know what I mean? He's got nothing. years ahead. Because years ahead. Me, he could be the perfect prospect because I'd rather he, go... He's not even hit his prime yet, either. Like, yeah, look, not, I reckon linked, he's not at his best linked. just yet. We've been linked with a number of strikers, right? We've been linked with that Sporting Lisbon striker, Victor Gukarez. We've been linked with Benjamin Sesco as well. Yep. We've been linked to, of course, I've just mentioned Isaac as well. Ivan Tony is a mention as well. That's probably like an interest. We've kind of called it interest. Yeah. But this is my number one target. 
Yeah, I agree. I agree. This guy's really good. He would hundred percent suit suit us. Hundred percent. True Guna says, "Man like Luca, can I come on?" Yes, I'll drop the link in the chat as well. Anyone? Big up, uh, Josh, as well. Um, not necessarily, us. Mr. B, man. I'm sure if Arteta got hold of um Isaac, I'm sure he could do well with him. I mean. Newcastle ain't been at their best this year. I know they've hit a little bit of form last few weeks, but he scored 17 goals in 24 games. And every time I watch him, he's, he get, I've seen him sometimes. Sometimes he plays up front. Sometimes he can play on the wing. He, he's, he's very good technically. He's tall. He's got everything to his game, Isaac. He, he's a really good striker, man. He's really good. And I think I read Newcastle might need to sell one or two players due to financial... Thing. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, any Newcastle fans, but maybe that was a few months ago. Maybe you don't need to now. Well, but... For me, yeah, but yeah, but Charlie, for me, Newcastle, for me, right, they need to sell players to make to make the funds. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. And, and, and it, me, we came in with a big offer. Isaac, I think, would want to move. I know he loves Newcastle, but... To I think to me, he suits Arsenal. I, yeah, suit everyone says it. Everyone says he suits play. Arsenal. He's going to yeah. suit our style of play. Like, yeah, more you agree. can links in the chat. But Isaac, for me, would be a perfect solution for Arsenal because not just only he mates with Martin Odegaard and all that, but he actually suits Mikel Arteta in the way we're going. Yeah. And Isaac, for me, would be a per Yes, 100 million is the release clause. But cool. if we're going to sell people like yeah. Ramsdale, maybe we can get Ramsdale for 60 mil to Newcastle. Chuck a couple of players on there. We might even get in. We might be lucky to get ninety mil for him. Yeah, eighty in the eighty late eighty millions and ninety million if we're lucky. Yeah. Because for me, he's he's doing very well this season. For yeah. Newcastle, yeah. Right? And if it wasn't if it wasn't for um, Isaac, Newcastle would not be in the top ten this season. I'm sorry, but 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 for me, he would be a perfect perfect solution. For Arsenal Football Club because I like him. Yeah. I would hundred percent would take this guy. Um, big up to Geordie. Welcome to the chat. How are you? Long time no see. Hey, oh, Mummy Flossy. Hello. Oh, the Newcastle you? fans have uh, come into the chat now. We're talking about Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Now they, yeah, they, the chat, they won't want to get rid of Isaac. Of course not. But if a big offer comes in, who says no, man? Who says why not? You know what I mean? Um, uh, Mummy Flossy says uh, we don't need to sell a player. Why don't we need to sell a player, my friend? Uh, I think I'd love to have Isaac. He's a good Isaac's player, man. He's yeah, a very well, good striker. Good technically. Knows where the back of the net is. Twisted uh, Van der Ven inside out, like them Twister ice creams um, last Saturday. Did you not see some of the goals you scored? He's a clinical striker. He's, he's really good. Like, yeah, I like Isaac, him. for me, reminds me of that Ian Wright style. He reminds me of... That little swagger about him. He's got yeah. a very good, calm finisher. He's got and a bit of Henri to his game yeah, as well, he I think. He's yeah, very raw. Yeah. He's very he runs quick. and everything. He yeah, he's... Like, I remember yeah. when Thierry Henry scored that goal against Man United at Highbury. I think it was 2000 or 2001, right? I can't remember what year it was. But but if anyone in the chat, Stu Saxon, all them lot listening, <laughs> correct me, let me know what year it was because... I think it was 2001 2 season where Henri scored that volley. And Isaac, for me, kind of reminds me of that. Okay. He kind of reminds me of that Ian Wright, Thierry Henri style. And he would be 100% take. I do think maybe 100 million is, is a bit of a big task. I do think it is a bit of a gamble to pay that sort of money. But I'm all up for it, man. I'd get this guy. I, I think he's better than Ivan Tony. Yeah, he like, scored it in 2000. Josh, really, me, really sorry, man. But Josh, my, uh, Josh says in the chat, my that window volley is... scored in 2000, uh, Luca. <laughs> it was. My window is at least a Superman. Hatto's already signed a new deal. So Who's Hatto? That Ajax left back, the promising. Oh, okay. So we can't get him now. So, of course, he signed a new deal. Not unless when players sign long term contracts, they want yeah. to go. To Steve Evans band. signed a new contract for Steven and he's gone. So anything can happen in football. You, you can. If you have 200 million, then yes, you have a big slice <laughs> in your head. 200 million? Mammy <laughs> Flossy, look. Mama Flossy, <laughs> not Mammy. Mama Flossy, sorry. Probably I butchered your name. But 
look, I can understand where you're coming from. Yes, 200 million is a bit of a task. In no way. Media, because we made that sort of value money because of progressing in the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time in 14 years. But, yeah, we'll have a bit more money this year, yeah. Yeah, we're going to touch on that in just a second, Josh, uh, after this. Uh, big up to Melina. Welcome to the chat with you. Big up to guys. If you want to come on and say your say, the link's in the chat. Uh, feel free to go and share the stream all around. Or sign Lunin from Real Madrid. It's not going to happen, but it'd be, it'd be nice. Uh, He's better, a good keeper. He's a good keeper. Better still be signing the goalkeeper. Don't worry, we're going to get an experienced goalkeeper. We're going to be talking <laughs> Darry about Darry <Raya>. <laughs> You can, you can have him back if you want. No, I'm joking. I've got nothing against Darry Raya. I've got nothing against we'll Darry Raya. I think he's all right. We'll sign, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we'll sign a good goalkeeper coming. I don't know who, man. Um, but I love Isaac, man. Brilliant. Isaac's, yeah. Isaac is quality, man. Absolutely yeah, he is. Um, Plasma says it's normal because... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, True Guna says we're linked with Bruno, Bruno from Newcastle. We get, we are going to talk about that now because uh, after the, when I talk about the Elise, sign the Bayern Leverkusen goalkeeper as a backup. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I think that would be a good shout. But it's whether he'll be good enough in the Premier League. It's whether it might just be a one seed and he might be good. Big up to guys, says Mr. B in the chat. It's all very good. Well, well, if you have a useless manager like Mikel Arteta, you don't win anything against your war chest. Chat more money if the clown is a waste. What's your initial thoughts about that? Um, well, he's, some of his signings have been good, in it? You know what I mean? So I think if he got Isaac, he could do quite well with him. You know what he I mean? He would, he would. I think, I think he suits our style of play. Yeah, everyone says it all the time. Isaac's like, born to made to play for Arsenal. I just think he's, the style that we play would really help him. Uh, but he's doing really well at Newcastle and he's in good form at the moment. So, fair play to him, man. He's a very good striker. The next player I, I want to really discuss about, right, is Michael Elise, right? Elise as well. I want to get everyone's initial thoughts in the chat, right? Elise, in the, Elise as well. Would he be a good signing for Arsenal? Because he's a decent player. Don't How much would he be? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at transfer market as well. Uh, I think he's got a like a thirty-five million release clause. If that's well, like Chelsea if... tried to get Chelsea tried to get him for um... yeah. If we could get him in for like saying under like fifty million, I'd actually would take him. He's a good player. Um... He says transfer value, right? Right. Let's have a look. Right. He's a good player. Lise's transfer value. Um... He's, he's had a decent season for Palace. What? Nine goal contributions in 13 mm -hmm. matches. I'm reading it on here about 50 million, right? Okay. Yeah, he's a good player. I wouldn't mind him. 50 million. Um, right. He's been injured a bit this season. He has. But I think on his day, he's a good player. I think he's a good option to our team as well. Um, like, good um, player for squad depth as well. But I. I I think he's a good player. I do. Um, if he can play uh, on the right me, as well, that would be me, right. For me, my opinions on this... I need a backup take, for Saka. I would take him, but I don't think he's not the answer to, to, to be that Bakaya Saka replacement. I, I'd rather go for someone like Rafinha. But do you really see someone... Do you really see him leaving Barcelona at the moment with him? Nah, not when we've got Champions Saka on the right, league? no. And I think he'd be a good option. I think he'd be a good I option. I think he would be say. a great option. I, I, I would take him if he's around the £40 million pound mark. I think it's yeah. a good I'd 100% take Elisa. I'm a massive fan of him. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I don't think he's not he's a, a good player. He's a good little player. He is. I think he's a little good player. The options. Um, it's a shame Eze can't play on the wing, man. You know what I mean? He would yeah. have been he would have been perfect over him. He but he's not a winger. He's more of a player. We're going back to Palace again after being linked to Zaha about fifty million times. <laughs> I should have got Same with Zaha when a few years younger. I was I'd uh, I'd pop in the market for him, but not now. Obviously, of course not. He's gone to Gas he's, he's, he's old now. But, he's Belgium and says he's actually got a lot better than Doku. Yeah, at least he's a good player. Position. I would take him. Yeah, I would take him. Yeah, I think he's a decent player. Look, he's a very, very good shout, don't get me wrong. But I think my only issue is with this with, with this player is oh, 
that's the price tag. If you can get him around 40 million, it's a no-brainer. But Crystal Palace are going to be demanding more money, of course, because this guy was linked to Manchester United. In your opinion, says Plasma, Elise is more priority than a striker. No, I don't think so. No, I disagree. I, I disagree. I, I, dis think, I disagree no. with that, mate. Plasma. We need a striker. Um, striker should be the Plasma. But I get what you're saying. I do, yeah, because we do need we do need to get someone in who can play instead of Saka. But then in games like against Luton, we played Reese Nelson, and that's what Mikel Arteta has been doing from the start in these games. Rather than playing Saka every game against teams who we should beat at the Emirates, play Reese Nelson because he ain't the worst player in the world. He's not. He's not a bad player. No, I'm not he's saying not a bad he's. Player. I'm not saying he's good enough to start for Arsenal every week, but he's not a bad player. Because um, I was at the game against Luton. Um, he was all right, I thought, in that game. But, yeah, I, I think we need a, a striker, definitely, yeah, first. Someone says, Mr B says in the chat, Bin Kai Havertz. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, nah, I, I, I don't mind that. But she, I do team... understand. I do understand, yes, a lot. He hasn't performed since Brighton. But, of course, he's not going to perform every single game. We know that. We no, know he's all right. I don't mind he's, Havertz. He's done better than I thought he would. He's done well, as people think. I'll give him another season, man. And hopefully he can progress. But we need a striker. Eddie and Ketty are. I'd definitely look to ship him off in the summer, personally. Uh, only because it looks like... He ain't getting many opportunities, so I would probably get rid of him. Uh, Chiesa, yeah, but Josh, Chiesa, we love Chiesa, don't get me wrong. And he, and he needs a big performance in the summer, man, you know what I'm saying? But Neto. injury pro, man. I, I, Neto's too injury pro, Chiesa, man, but then so is Elise at the moment. Elise has only played 13 games. My three. number one wingers who are... But I would take him. My number one wingers who are... Take, I've got but he looks like he's injured a bit, so I'm not sure, Elise. He hasn't really had a good sustained run of games this season for Palace, but... But Charlie, yeah. the thing is, Charlie, right? Um, my number one winger who I love to have is Leroy Sane. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. What happened? Because Bayern ain't going to sell him. No way. He's a brilliant player. I thought... And he's worked what? with Mikel Arteta. He's worked with Mikel Arteta. Yeah, he, I'd love to have him. What about Serge Gnabry? Nah, not for me. You don't think so? No. Um it's not now. Oh, I think there's too many wingers off the top of my head right now. What's Josh saying? Net I don't know about Neto if he's Neto would be good, but but he's injury prone. Yeah. Um Chies would be brilliant, obviously. I know him he plays for Italy and he's done well for Big Juventus. up to Glenn, New York. Welcome to the chat with you. For all those big names we want Arsenal have to be ruthless in the transfer window by sending Trozard, Smith Rowe. Trozard. Trozard. I did see some something yesterday. I was telling Mel off air when I was speaking to her on social media, I said Trozard apparently it was either an option or Trozard. No way, I would not sell Trozard. No, no. Trozard's been good, man. He's, he's... Trozard for me, I yeah. can understand sometimes he can be a bit frustrating, but he's better when he comes off the bench. Because he's a good impact stub to have. Part I agree with if he's not going to play or whatever, then you might as well. And I, 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 I like Partey still, I still think he's a good player. Jay and Ketty, I agree with. Smith Rowe, if he's not going to get the game time, I agree with. I'd send him out alone personally. I, um, I would, I'd send him for the money. We need the money. Could do, yeah. Loan as, much as, I'm, as much as I want him to work out at Arsenal, which don't seem like it's going to. Jesus as well, I'm not going to lie. You, you could. I mean, maybe as an impact sub, he's still good to have, but we need we need a striker that don't. We can't have him as a main striker. Is, the thing is, the thing is, 100%. In Ketty, I agree with as well, but not Trossard, no. Nah. The thing is, the striker is the most priority thing we have to go and get first. I don't want anyone saying to me, oh, we should go and get a midfielder first. We can get all that down the line. Yeah, we need a striker, yeah. And this is what I think Mikel Arteta is going to do. I think for me, he's going to go and get a striker first. Then I yeah. think he's going to go for a midfielder. One of the, it's going to be one of those targets who we're going to get. It ain't going to be an unknown one or anything like that. It ain't going to be no Victor Osmian or Martinez. Osmian, for me, was my number one target. But he's probably going to go to PSG. And Martinez is going to stay at Inter Milan if Inter win the Serie A again, right? So he's going to stay there. And why would he want to leave if, he, leave if he's winning trophies? So regardless to that, my number one striker has to be Isaac. If Ivan Tony... Yeah. If, look, Ivan Tony, I can see him going... I was so optimistic with Ivan Tony. I don't want to like take any judge and say, look, I was wrong about Declan Rice, but for me, this is a very hard one and I can't really be wrong on this one as well because 
I really thought Ivan Tony would actually come to Arsenal, but I just feel like the club are not interested in him. And for me, there's better options out there. What, what people have watched this season, like the Isaacs, the Gugurezes, the Sescos. Look, Ivan Tony for me is a good player, but I don't know if he's the answer to be. Yeah, like, I agree. Yeah. If we want to go on to win the league next year, you know what I'm saying. So but I do, I do like some of the things he's got. Though he, he's he, he's good technically, and also he's um. He's a, what's to call it, um, di uh, a target man up front, which is saying we probably need as well. But I like Isaac probably as number one target. Or the bloke from Sporting. I don't know. I, I haven't probably looked into all the players we could get, but based on the players you're saying so far, Isaac would be, I'd love to get him in if we could. Yeah, anyways. 100%, 100%. Uh, True Gunner says 80, 40 million for Ivan Tony. Blues Cloud Media, welcome 40 to the million. So. Oh, I need to talk to you, man. I need I need to talk to you. Drop me a DM. Um, I've been looking for a Chelsea fan um, for collaboration because uh, we play them next week. So yeah, uh, I'll be uh, I totally forgot about you, man. I really, I'm looking uh, forward to that. I'm buying totally the goal. Forgot. So I totally forgot. And look about that. I totally forgot about you, and I apologise. But Blue Clouds Media, if you if you're interested in doing a collab, then let me know. I, I look. I've been looking for a Chelsea fan. Try to have a try to find some big YouTubers for Chelsea's, but they wouldn't reply. So, so of course, I take any Chelsea fan for a collab. But mm -hmm. his answer, his quote says in the comments, "Please keep Mikel Arteta is the right person for the job. Look how far he has taken in the football team. Oh, this is supposed to be a positive stream, man. <laughs> that match reaction against Bayern oh Munich God, was really went off." And I don't want to have a repeat of tomorrow against Wolves. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I actually don't. If you, I don't blame you if you go mad tomorrow. I, I, I was on Josh's stream. I wasn't screaming, but I was pissed off as well with uh, Wednesday. But if we lose tomorrow, yeah, that's it then. But no, but no I, I'll, I'll, I'll be. I'll answer, answer your question. I'll answer, you, I'll I'll answer your question quickly because there's obviously this is about transfers. Um, and Stu Saxon and everyone, if you're listening to this on Twitter, be warned, right? And Mark. <laughs> Arteta for me, right, look, the amount of comments I got the other day about, oh, he should stay next season. I ain't gonna go, I ain't gonna go too much detail. I'll save that for my Wolves match reaction tomorrow, right? But all I will say is, Mikel Arteta for me, what is it with his fan base that people believe that he is the right man for the job to go on and win big trophies? Last season, top four in the Europa League, right, was the aim. Yeah. Eddie said it at the beginning of 2022-23 season. Yeah. Top four in the Europa League was the aim. That was fair enough, yeah. But we overachieved and we were top of the league for 247 days. Oh, and then this season, we capitulated again. He dumped the yeah. South Champions League, right, against Bayern Munich. But people are saying that, oh, yeah, we are competing. Yeah, we are competing. But people need to raise the standards and start coming together as a fan base, right, and realise people are not accepting mediocrity, right? I think I pronounced that right. But for me, people are not accepting and realising that Arteta, for me, why can't... Look, people if people love Mikel Arteta and they want him to stay, fair enough. I'm allowing you to have that opinion. I'm not taking everyone's opinion away and say, right, you need to stick with me. But I ain't going to do that. But I can understand where people are coming from when they're saying about, oh, Arteta's taken us into a certain... But yeah, look, he's done well, right? From 8th, 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 5th, 5th, 2nd. But what people don't understand, yes, he has took us in, into a title challenge. We are competing with Man City and Liverpool. I, I, I agree with everyone. But what people don't understand and underestimate is when the pressure is on, he doesn't deliver. And that is something where people don't understand. And look, this manager has spent 580, 590, whatever. It's not quite 700 million. I thought it was 700. But, but he's failed to win a league title again. I agree, Blue and Clouds. Potentially he has failed to not win anything this season. and. When people talk about last season, 
what is the aim, right? The aim is, right, last season was top four in Europa League. But now... This season was winning trophies, season, yeah. Now it's winning, winning the league. And now yeah. next season is a must. Yeah, no, I actually do agree with what you're saying, but I would, I'd give him one more season. And if he don't, that's it then. I'm not going to lie. Actually, I do agree with what you're saying. Because next season, if he spends a couple of hundred million again and yes, we don't do. win it again or we bottle it again, then I would. Because then it would prove to me that he ain't the right man to get us over the line. But... I mean, the league ain't entirely done, but we're going to have to win all six games, in my opinion. And with Tottenham away, I can't see... Uh, that would be a really hard game. If we win that, I'll be, I'll be, sh I'll be shocked. I'm not going to lie. Mark, welcome to the chat. How are you? I hope you're keeping well. I'm good. I'm working with Luca, and I'm, I'm like, I'm working from home. Put my laptop on. I've got you in the background, and I hear Arteta. It's like, come on. I've got to come on. I'm going to have to educate everyone. If, for everybody who doesn't know me, I am a massive... Arteta and Guy, and I'm going to be educated years. Massively, I'm going to be educated years. This season, Arsenal have had eight players that have played over 40 games. Yeah. Man City, Man City have zero because of the squad to do it. Pep Guardiola came in to, um, took over Man City and inherited a double winning side from 2014. He signed in 2016. What to say about the assets that he was able to sell on? On top of that, he has assembled a squad with £1.2 billion. £1.2 billion. Arteta came in after one season of Emery, and we had players like Mustafi, Abam Young, Ozil, problem players that we had to pay off. We couldn't get any player sales from them. We have spent £590 million to assemble the squad that we have today. That's what it's taken from our test came in. It's 590. People are saying 700 and odd. It's hot shit. It's, it's only 590. That's half the money that Man City spent. On top of that, in 2019, FFP came in. Six years after Pep went berserk with the Man City war chest. Three, sorry, three years after he went berserk with the Man City war chest. Our test shouldn't be in the conversation. People want them sad. When you put the facts together, we should not even be in the conversation for league titles. It's, look at, let's go out and buy a sports car. You spend half the money that I spend, and go and race me and see if I win. And that's what we're talking here. And people are talking our tie out. We're bottling nothing. We do not have a squad, a bench big enough or good enough to compete with Man City. I 100% agree with you, and I respect your opinion, right? And what we said the other night against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, look, for me, when the pressure is on, he doesn't deliver. And look, you are right. It's not that it's, but it's not that he's, because the pressure's on, he's not delivering. I think these players are capable of dealing with the pressure. I think they're fatigued. But why are we not getting it over the line? Mm. Because we do not have a bench to come on and rotate. I, 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 yeah, I, I agree with both you, actually. I agree with both you. to Man City Liverpool. Saka is shattered. He's knackered. He's been knackered for weeks. We do not have. What yeah, we do to do? Take, take Saka off. Take Zarkov and put Reese Nelson on in the Champions yeah, League. That's what I said, yeah. In the games like, it's not gonna against happen. Sheffield United and stuff. Like, you know, like we the home cut. games we're expected to win. Put him on. Don't put Saka on. No, no but you could, honestly, see if you cut one of Saka's legs off, he would still be better than Reese Nelson on the right wing. So let's not kid ourselves. Our bench is nowhere near good enough. And Arteta's having to invest in the like 14, maybe 15 players are good enough for Arsenal. We should have 25 like Man City. But because of FFP and PSR, we can't spend money. But that's There's the thing money is, there. The thing There's is, money the there. there. FFP is coming to a conclusion since 2019. If FFP but, wasn't around, everybody would be spending money like it's easy peasy. Exactly. So, so Arteta can't do it. So look at you've got one hand tied behind his back. I just how's the money to prove to me that he can go on and win the league and 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 all that stuff. And once when yeah. he does it then I can come out in a minute and say, and say, you know what, this manager has actually got us a league title. I wouldn't sack him at the end of the season. No way. I, no way. Look, look if this guy ain't going to get sacked. We can't do nothing about it. He's going to be here for a couple of years, right? But if he doesn't win anything next season, then surely people have to come to a conclusion that it's got to a certain point because this summer now is a must. It is a yeah, I agree. I, I agree. agree. Yeah, that's what I said. I agree. I've been saying that. 
We've seen the targets online who we're linked with, like ISAP. Bruno Gamal is apparently been mentioned today, right? Yeah. So if we get them to, we are going to be elite next season. Exactly. But, it's but look, a look, we look, get look a look. Look at I've, the last point I'll make. I have to jump off again because I'm still working. But the last That's point I'll make, make. I, Arsenal's best player, arguably, if everybody's fit, and I've said this something times, is Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey has let us down massively this season. Absolutely let us down massively this season. So Arteta's had one hand tied behind his back the whole journey. We have to sort the bench out this summer. No excuses, sort it out. And for the Newcastle fans that are in the chat, can I just say, come over to my um, Twitter page, um, yeah, Isaac and Bruno. Are, Bruno and uh, Isaac will be Arsenal players by the end of the summer. But um, guys, I do have to jump back off. So just please have faith. We'll sort it this summer. And we're still in the title challenge now. Let's hey, look at the title challenge next season. Yeah. Because Liverpool, for me, are going to be getting a new manager. I don't even know who this new manager is going to be next season. Man City are going to keep spending and spending and spending, right? So surely we've got to do what we what's required and keep spending, keep spending, keep spending. Yeah, we do. We do. I honestly think I heard I seen a wink of two hundred million war chest okay. for this summer, but we've got twenty seven million of that to to put out on Rhea instantly. But we'll have to sell like ten or eleven players. We have to get rid of them. So that spending might go beyond three hundred million this summer. And I think it's needed. Me personally, I really think it's needed. We have to sort the squad out. And now, so um, I have to jump off again. Look, I'll try and catch up with well, you after well, the game. Yeah, I'll catch, right. catch me tomorrow. Match reaction straight after the game, man. Post match reaction, and you're more than welcome to join anyone. More than welcome. Like perfect. Have fun, guys, and have a nice night. Cheers. Thank you very much. Have a good Friday. Rory, welcome to the chat. How are you, man? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. Um... Apologies that I am late. I've just walked through the door. So So Arsenal now, of course, have a two hundred million pound war chest. We've been linked with a number of names uh, today: Uh, Isaac, um, Gomez. Apparently, he's been mentioned. Um, Of course, Vlahovic has also been named as well, according to Eduardo Hag. Um, Of course, the Crystal Palace player as well, Elise. I want to get your initial thoughts on this summer, this transfer window. It's been a bad week for Arsenal in the past seven days, Rory. But where do we go from here now? You know what I'm saying, Rory? Um, well, we just need to um, continue winning, win our remaining games and just hope that Manchester City slip up. That's all I'm going to say. I don't really want to make too many um, predictions on the title race at the moment because obviously uh it's in man city's hands and it's like they are going to drop points but all we have to do is just win our remaining games that's all i ask for um and i'm hoping that uh Arteta has given a reaction from sorry to a lot of these players because they, they really do need it yeah well, they have to because because for me now, Man City, I can't see them dropping points from now to the end. Maybe Tottenham because Tottenham have got top four to fight for. If if we win all our six games and they drop, if if we win all six of our games and Man City win five and like even draw one, we'll win it because we've got better we'll goal win, difference than them. So we have to win all six. But we'll win drop. all our six games. For me, no, I can't see us no, winning. No, no, no. I can't see. I'll be very shocked if we do. Um, Mm. The only thing I'm optimistic about is Wolves. Yeah, if we it. beat Wolves and Chelsea, we'll go four points clear of them ahead of their yeah, next even, game. Yeah, but even yeah, but then Man City will go back on top after after. Yeah, but at least they put the pressure on them. You know what I mean? To win their games, and yeah. they put a bit of pressure on them. Um, mm. Brighton away is not a, a foregone conclusion, is it? Brighton's a tough place. Same as tomorrow night. We can't just expect there to go there and win, but. We should expect a reaction and should win, but it's not going to be easy. Fans, but the thing is, the only positive ever will say is, is that we've got to beat Wolves and Chelsea, and I think we will. Right? Chelsea's going to be a tough game, right? Yeah. At the park, but I expect us to win that game. Yeah. Because I would be a little bit shell shocked if we do drop points against Chelsea, because a lot of a lot of Chelsea fans I see online aren't a little bit confident. Yeah. They- 
They've got Palmer, isn't it? Who's just... They've got Palmer. Yeah, but yeah. we can deal with them. We've oh, got... yeah, no, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. They've got, um... they've got Palmer. Me and Josh are at that game, so we're not sitting together. But you're doing a match day vlog? Maybe, yeah. If, if my phone yeah. don't run out of battery like I did last time, I had to, I had to run to the station because I had it on my phone. But this time I'm going to uh, bring a portable charger. On re 14, the goat says we're drawing both Wolves and now we're going to beat Wolves. We'll beat Wolves. Wolves are not. Yeah, I'm, we'll beat Wolves. I'm more worried here. about Wolves and not that that I'm more Wolves. worried about Wolves away though than Chelsea. The only game I'm worried about is Tottenham. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's yeah. To, to be fair, Wolves are missing an abundance of players. Cunha's missing. Wangi Chan's missing. Neto. Um. I believe eight Nori's missing, Pedro Neto's missing. Yeah. So there's no excuses going no. into that game because we have a fully fit squad aside from Timber. Wolves have half of their team out injured. So we should be battering Wolves, to be quite honest. We should, and and Wolves is going to be a very, very, very tough game because it is. They're no mugs or anything like that. No, and... they're not. Gary O'Neill's done a good job with them, and they they've done alright this season. Um, I'm not too sure what our record's like at Wolves. I think it's got a bit better over. Well, they did the double over us during the pandemic. I remember that. Did we beat them away last season? I highly remember. Uh, yes, we did. We did beat them away last season. Um, what was the score? Oh, it was before. Junior. Oh, that was before the World Cup. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, the last yeah, game yeah. for the World Cup. Um, yeah. It was 2-0. Um, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Very hard scored in that game and then I think someone else. But regardless to that, it's going to be a very, very tough game. I and mean, it's a massive game. Because it is. Because pressure now is going to be really, really hurtful. Because if we do not beat Wolverhampton Wanderers, then we're in serious trouble, Right. Because now we have to hope that Man City lose two games cool. or lose one and draw one, I think. So, regardless to that, that is going to be a very, very, very tough game because they need to win to get some sort of European uh, format where we're going for a league title. And look, I'm confident that we can go into um, Wolves. They're not Aston Villa, but we seriously, seriously need a real proper, proper response. Because yeah. if we don't beat Wolves, Rory, then, then we are serious in trouble. That's it. And yeah. The, the league yeah, the, the, the league is like properly done. I don't, I don't think the race is over yet. Um, but if we, we, we weren't going to beat Wolves, especially the injuries they have, then just forget about it. I think we'll, I we'll beat Wolves. Season. I'm hoping we can. But let's say we did lose to Wolves, Liverpool beat Fulham, then they're three points clear, and then we need them to lose a game as well in the last yeah. five games. So, which is possible, but I, I, all I want us to do is win tomorrow, just win, and that's it. Then yeah, I'll be a bit more happier again. I'd be happy because then I'll be confident going into that Chelsea game. I yeah. Think Chelsea, because we could actually damage Chelsea's top six hopes. Yeah. They're not going to get top six, even if they do beat us. I think they will. I think they will get top six. Nah, they won't. Man United is shit. United is shit, right? They're probably great conference league. We ain't got a great record at Old Trafford. No, if right? they win the FA Cup, then they go into the Europa, no? They do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we, got a good, we ain't got a good record at Old Trafford, but I'm actually quite confident going there and getting a win for some reason. Yeah. No, but no, not Tottenham. Just... I know what to... I know that 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 ground's gonna be bouncing, obviously, because they'll go over top four. They're gonna want to dent our title hopes. Yeah, that's the one game. If we didn't have them, I would be confident we could win most of our remaining games. But I'm not saying we can't beat Tottenham. But I'm just saying it's a big game, and can the players that's, that's, deliver? That's a, I, think that's that's a week on, I think that's a week on Sunday. We've got Tottenham. Yeah, already. So. Yeah, already. Yeah. So, Tottenham for me is the one and uh, that's going to be an interesting game because I'm not confident going into that Spurs game and I want to be optimistic. I, I really, really do, but but let I'm not worrying about that at the moment. I'm focused on Wolves and Chelsea. They're the yeah, two the first. need to get them to and then go into that North London derby knowing that we have to win to keep us in that mix because Man City have got easy run of games and it's not going to be easy, but 
Niall has a question. Is it true that we have 200, 200 million spending? Yes, we do, because... Apparently. Suppose and we should. And we should, which means that's going to add up to about eight 900 million. So regardless to that, we the need to... The bat charge quite a lot, so I reckon I'll do it again this time. We need... Especially when we have players to sell as well, so it could be more. Yeah. We need, we need, we need to um, spend it wisely because if we don't spend it wisely, then we can't be buying this Kai Havertz, Fabio Vieira type of players. We need to spend it on proper players. And there's rumours today that Arsenal are, have been linked, according to Twitter, Twitter Z, stop Z's car, Z something, Twitter source, right? That Arsenal are looking at Bruno Gomares. Good player. We were linked him before he went to Newcastle as well. I yeah. do remember. I think for me, Bruno Gomares would be an unbelievable player because Bruno Gomares, right? He would be that perfect. He rem he reminds me of a bit of a Santi Cazorla. Has that very creativity role. He's got something about him. He can score yeah. long range goals. And Arsenal for me need another quality of Martin Odegaard. Like, I know we've got Martin Odegaard. But he was our best player the other night against Bayern Munich. But, of course, Martin Odegaard, we need another one. And I think Gamares for me, would be suitable because Odegaard, for me, he can't do it on his own when the pressure is on. And I feel like Arsenal will be need a Bruno Gamares. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Um, I can't. I can't be the only fan that is slightly apprehensive with Bruno Gamares. I can't yeah, lie. He's quality, man. Yeah, I think okay. he's alright. Yeah. I think. Okay, hear, hear me out. Right. Hear me out. The thing I don't get with Arsenal nowadays is we heard that we don't want Ivan Tony because his attitude stinks. <laughs> Bruno Gamares, on the other hand, hasn't spoken highly about the club, unlike Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony said publicly, yep, I would love to join Arsenal. Whereas Bruno Gamares, when he first went to Newcastle, he said, I don't have any regrets whatsoever. That's what I don't understand. Look, he's a great player. And he has rescued Newcastle on a couple of occasions this season. And I think he'll be decent for us. I, I, I really do. But I just think there's better options. I really do. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really rate him as much as depends all much these people well. fan rate him. Depends how much he is. I think he's a decent player. He's got good technical quality and he's um, yeah. he's he's good defensively as well. He's uh, hard work in the midfield. I think he'd be yeah, right. can play six. It just depends well, how just... much he is. But I think he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a, he's a good something. player. But is he is he's he going to take us to the next level? level? I don't know. It's very difficult whether he will take us to the next level, but I think he's quality. I think he he, he scores goals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I hear that. But it's I think just... he'd be good, good player, but I'm not sure. There, there's loads of options. So I think Arsenal he's needs someone. Up. Arsenal needs someone like a Nico Barella, a Paqueta, um, yeah. midfielders like that. We need midfielder types of players like that. A proper, proper number eight. Frankie De Jong's another one as well. We need Zuba a proper Mendy. number. Yeah, Zubamendi as well. He's more leading up to a Thomas Party replacement. But we need a proper number eight. That's going to be very creative on a very consistent week. Yeah. Yeah, look, I think um, the positives for Bruno Gomares, um, obviously he's got that Brazilian chemistry. So if, say if he was going to play on the left of the eight, so left centre mid pretty much, then... He could um, he could link up well with Martinelli because I think that's what's been hurting Martinelli this season. Um, he has been left isolated. Um, so, yeah, that is why a midfielder in that left centre mid role is vital. Because it feels like both of our wingers in Sacra and Martinelli have been playing as wing backs pretty much. They yeah. have. And we've seen it. We've seen it before. And I've seen Bakai Saka. I don't know. Someone put on Twitter the other day that someone said Bakai Saka should play as left back. And I'm <laughs> that's just no. stupid. 
So you want Zinchenko bins because he can't defend. Bruno G. But then we want to go from an understudy to another. Come on. Because Saka's got to start. That's what I mean. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Because because Unai Emery played Bakai Saka at left back and it didn't work. So can anyone look? Look, look. He he was a good left back. Don't get don't get it twisted. He 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 was playing very very well there. He was. But what? Oh, come on. Turn it like I, I, at the end of the day, the position is left back. Man said techie left back. <laughs> techie. So we go from invert from a ver- from an inverted left back to a techie left back. I don't care. <laughs> I, I want someone who can actually play that position. And who, 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 but which who, left back is there? Which left back is there actually available? Because we, we need Grimaldo. We, That's who we need. Oh, I tell you what, that is a brilliant option. This who, guy, man? man, Grimaldo, man, scoring goals for fun as well. It's just, never you know, I've seen him. his stats. I've never heard of him. I've never Football heard of him. Grimaldo. Really I've never heard but of him. I can't him. see actually. I can see a lot of Bayer Leverkusen players going in the summer. Yeah, the, the Leverkusen around. left back. I've never heard of him. Yeah, he plays as a left wing back as well a bit. How have you, not, was, how have you never heard of him before? I He's think like one of the best G left backs in the world. Leverkusen left back. I think Bruno G would hit the ground running. I don't watch the Bundesliga. I don't watch the Bundesliga, but 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 for yeah, but me, surely you know who Ronaldo is, right? Like <laughs> probably not. No. <laughs> oh really? He's oh, well, 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 um, I might have seen the. I might have actually seen the face, but but I'll have to. I'm gonna have to Google him after this. But <laughs> blue cloud. Oh my God. You, you just won the Bundesliga. For, <laughs> thank you, thank you for the uh, donation as well. Um, of course, That's ten bucks. Funny, thank you very much for that. Much appreciate it. It goes towards the channel. Uh, we should talk about Mans. What? I don't mean by that. Uh, Bruno Does he mean Mansfield. Mansfield, Mansfield, oh, in... Maidster. No, it's Man- Maidster. Mansfield are going up, Luke, guys, instead of you guys. That's uh, unlucky, isn't it? Hey, I'll tell you what, if MK, Mate, if MK Mate, Dons Mate. make it to the League Two player final, I might come across and watch that. I'm not going to lie. That'd be I'm, long, mate. I'm a long mate. I'm traveling to Harrogate tomorrow, so <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Get my first eyes to see what it looks We're like. We're up at Oxford uh, tonight, yeah. Chuguna says Bruno would be a decent, very uh, yeah. physical. He's a good player. Yeah, uh, he is. is but I just don't know whether he will take us to the next level. I really He's don't. a good player. I think he'd hit the ground running as well because he knows a few Brazilians. Yeah. Martin, Jesus, Martinelli, uh, Gabriel, Magalhães. Um, yeah, I, I, I would take Bruno, but I just... We'd have quite a good Brazilian left-hand side. Gabriel plays left centre-back. Bruno G maybe can play, I don't know what... Uh, maybe right or left centre mid. I don't have a clue what position he plays for Newcastle. I know he obviously plays in the midfield. Um, Mate, I'll take three Newcastle players in the summer. Me, I'll take Isaac. Who's the Mark. other one? Anthony Gordon. We need more wide players. That's an interesting I one. I can't stand him, but he's a quality player. Yeah, that's not an interesting Anthony one. Anthony Gordon, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Why? He's good. He's but good. He's- He's good, but we need better. He, he, we could do so. Better. Why do you want the lease, say then? I'd only take him if we get him for forty million or so. If it's more than that, then then no, not for me because the guy's injury prone. And uh, look, he's a decent player, at least say. But if he if he's around about forty million or something like that, I would take him. But but transfer market valued fifty mil. So of course. The winger who I want is Rafinha as a realistic signing. We ain't, yeah, we're, not, we're, we're not going to get no um, Rafael Leo or anyone like Mel that. Mel don't want it, they say. Who would you like then, Mel, actually? I, I, it's good to get the chat involved. Who, 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 does, who do you want, Mel, as a uh, winger? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't buy Nico Williams. Coach a good that. player, yeah. I tell you, he, I'd love him. Nico yeah. Williams is a very good option as well. But Australian Guna, we've got Australian Guna. Dean as well could be a good option. Harvey Barnes? Harvey <laughs> Barnes. Say Harvey Barnes. Harvey not... Barnes, Josh. I, d- I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I mean, like... I'll tell you what, Liao. What about Liao, guys? What do you guys think about Rafa Liao? Nah, nah. No way. 
on since Harvey Barn. Harvey Barn ahead of Gordon. No way. Gordon He's been injured Harvey all Barnes. season. Gordon over Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes because Harvey Barnes, look, he's played in the championship, he's played in League One, he's played in the he's he's a Premier League player now. And Harvey Barnes for me, right, he's too injury prone. Yeah, the, the, uh, Barnes is a baller, but my god, like he's not he really he him are, over Gordon. Has is, is, is Harvey Barnes exactly been better than Gordon? No, I don't think so. No. No, Josh says Southampton can still make the playoffs. No, they can't. Stephen's <laughs> finished. No, no, there's one more game left. Is there um, one more game? Yeah, they still can. Wow, imagine. Uh, they two... are, they're three points off. Oh, yeah, imagine, game left. Imagine, imagine if they get playoffs. They need, they need, they need two teams to lose and what, and them to win. Yeah, Stephen okay. needs to win against Oxford eleven nil to make the playoffs. So. That ain't happening. <laughs> You're going to Oxford tomorrow? No, it's tonight. No, I'm watching it on TV. Oh, We've got Alex Ravel really? in charge. Get in. <laughs> Get in there. Get him in goal. Uh, Chu Gruner <laughs> says, number three, Scottish absolute baller. Kieran Tierney should be... Look, for me, what? John... I, I don't see why not. Kieran oh, Tierney... Uh, he's betting in Zizhenko. Yeah, but people yeah, say... If, if we don't use him as an inverted left-back like we did last season, then... Yeah. I don't think he'll he come back. Even Arteta's going to buy someone else. He's injured, though. He's yeah, he played up for he's Real Sociedad. He's got injured for Sociedad. Yeah, but he's been injured far too many times. Uh, actually, he's been playing a bit last few games, I think. How many games he played? He played 15 games for Real Sociedad. He's played like 15, 16 games. For yeah, he's done all right, actually. He's not been in injured as much as I thought. Uh, Blue Clouds Media says, Luca, be careful playing Chelsea because they're very unpredictable. And you back. Oh, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. They, they do turn up away from home or at home um, in these big games. So I don't mind Barnes, Josh, but is he going to take know. that next level? What's he Good got? afternoon, Luke Stanworth. Six, six goal contributions in fifteen yeah. games. I agree. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the hype around Rafael Leal. I really don't. Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon actually is a. Not a bad shout, like as an option. Not a bad player, player though, but the trouble is he gets injured a lot. Annie Gordon's got eight goals and got eight assists in 30 games. He's got 18 Has goal contributions in off 30 this games. Season. He's averaging a goal contribution every two games, so not yeah. bad. Not easy. He's, he's, he's a guy, player, to fair to him, Gordon. There's a guy at Bayern Leverkusen says Molina, he's just one of the a riddle. Granite Xhaka. Yeah, no, Granite Xhaka, man. What oh, man? yeah. No, you know what? I, I was just um, thinking. So I, I thought that was relevant to um, the winger situation. I don't know why I was thinking Nathan Teller. Like, <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I, I, I thought you meant like as a wide player. Oh, you, you would have taken Nathan Teller or Nathan something. Teller. He's, he's born in the same hospital. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good player, but I thought that's what you meant. I, I thought you were up. answering the question, he, like he, he who, who would you Arsenal. rather have instead nah. of Elise? No way. But yeah, I, 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 I don't mind Jacker. I, I really don't. No, I, I do rate Barnes, but he doesn't come close to Gordon this season. No way. No, and Gordon's yeah, Gordon's got eighteen so goal contributions in thirty games. Anthony right. Gordon, right? Look, Anthony Gordon's more better than Harvey Barnes. I'm sorry, yeah, but, but yeah, the the Barnes has been injured all season. Josh, if you want to come on and say you say if you if you can make a note, the links in the chat because Harvey Barnes for me, I not for me. I don't think he's not the answer to as a backup to Bakayo Saka and Newcastle. I don't know what he's. I'm going to have a look what Harvey Barnes's transfer value is because surely it can't be expensive. So. I'm trying to think of other people to get. Um... I mean, it is that's got to be like the main priority. If we sign anyone from Newcastle, I would prefer Isaac out of... Yeah, yeah, know, he's... Oh, I want Isaac. You, you know, when you Barnes. watch um, Isaac, he does look a lot like an Arsenal player, doesn't he? No, he suits Arsenal. Like, the, the Newcastle kit, for some reason, just does not suit him. No. He suits more Arsenal than Newcastle. Even opposition fans say it as well all the time. Yeah, yeah it's mad. He's, he's good, man. And, uh, and I know he does pick up a lot of injuries, but again, this is the same thing I say about Jesus. When fit, when fit, Isaac is a quality player. And I reckon 
we could get in behind more with Isaac than Jesus because Jesus is great in tight areas, but Isaac, whenever we need someone to get in behind, yeah, we could uh, cause a lot of problems next season if we do get him. I mean, I would take Ollie Watkins. Like I've always said Ollie, Ollie Watkins would be perfect for Arsenal. Yeah, that's another guy as well. Ollie Watkins, I would pay big money for him. Like, I know he's 28 or something, but he's in great form and boy, an Arsenal fan as well. So maybe, and I do, I'm yeah. sure I remember the guy saying he wanted to play for Arsenal one day. So, yeah. um, by, by the way, if um, Isaac was going to come in, he should be taking that number 14 shirt without hesitation. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Got it. He, don't even he should be on new number 14 because he does give me vibes of Thierry Henry. I'm not saying he's anywhere near Thierry Henry, but the way he plays. He does give me shades of Thierry Henry. Yeah, 100%. Thank you very much, and Thank you for the donation. Uh, do you rate Jimmy Wijnaldum, says Sean? Um, I did before, but not now. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not going back to... Did you, though? We're not, going, <laughs> we're not going back to ex-Liverpool players. We're not going back to ex-Liverpool players. Forget that. Um, right, 15 likes on the video. Um, make sure you do do smash that like button. Um, let's try and get at least 20 likes on this video. Much appreciated if we can. But Harvey Barnes' transfer value is 35 million. So it is a cheap option, Josh. And Harvey Barnes has had a lot of injuries this season. He scored four goals in 15 appearances. Do you really want to back up Winger with four goals in 15 appearances for Bakaya Saka for me, no? I think he's more of a left sided player, actually. More of a Martinelli Trozard. Yeah, he, he's left winger Harvey Barnes. Even at Leicester, he used to play there. He played there at MK Dons. He played there at Leicester. He was at MK Dons, was he Harvey Barnes? I never knew that. He was. How long was he there for? <laughs> on loan. He was at Buck from Barnsley. In the 2016-2017 season. Oh, is it? that's cool, yeah. No, was that his first game? Was that his first game against North I, I know, I know the, the best player you guys have had is Deli Ali when he was like... Oh, man, Steven is, we, what's, Steven, we... what's Steven is his best player then? You've had. <laughs> Not many. Oh. Uh, best player I've seen in live was uh, uh, Ilias Cherblo. He, he's uh, a QPR now. He played in the World Cup with Morocco. He mm. was... Uh, yeah, he was unplayable when he joined is he alone. Still going? Is he still going? Yeah, he's at QPR. He scored away at you lot. I was at the game at MK Dons. He scored for like 30 yards out. Wow. Um, but we drew one all, I think, in like 2018 and saying, yeah, he was amazing. What about, um, oh, what's that defender's name? You have for Stevenage. What, 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 who's playing from now? He had no hair. Was it Cuthbert or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's hard to pluck any from York, to be honest. It is. Um, oh, well, actually, nice. I mean, right now, York's best player has to be um, Dippo Akinyemi, to be honest. Wow, really? Damn. Yeah. I think he's scored like 14 goals so far this season, he's which is nice. is. What about Harrogate? No so, idea. Yeah, Oh, did did Depot used to play for Stevenage? I forgot he about did. that. Yeah, he did. Oh my one? god! Unless yeah, but he, he's a baller. He's a baller. Have a look. Have yeah, a look. he did, but he didn't, he didn't. He didn't play much. I just remember the name. Yeah, but he's balling out for York at the moment. He has. Have a good town. Have Mark Oxley. Mark Oxley he played for South End. <laughs> Have you been to <laughs> Harrogate before? I've been there. No, tomorrow I'm going. Yeah, it's not a bad yeah. ground. So, um, it's not a bad no. ground. One of my mates always um, raised on about um, Luke Armstrong, their striker. Is he still there? I, I think... You know what? I, I don't think he is, you know. No, he's not. I'm looking at Google. I think he's at Blackburn or something. Mark Oxley, he, he played for South End. Josh, if you're listening to this, just mention about South End. Harrogate can end your automatic promotion hopes. Well, but I, no, 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 it's gone now, isn't it? Mantle are up now. Yeah, so it's just playoffs. Luke Armstrong plays for 
Carlisle. Oh, we relegated them. I think they're relegated. Yeah. Luke Stanworth mm. says Max Dean's going to be the best strike in League One uh, if we win the playoffs. Mate, he might leave, mate. Peterborough looking at him for. A you're gonna minute. have you're gonna you're, you're gonna have to play creepy crawly in the. Uh, <laughs> in oh, the we have a Wolves fan. We have a Wolves <laughs> fan. Ryan, I just wanted to talk to you about something. I want to talk to you about something. Are you free to do a collaboration? Because I've been looking for a Wolves fan all day. One of them got back to me, but they couldn't make it because they were on holiday. I think it was Wolves fan TV. Or something like that, but or someone else, or Wall Seventy Seven. But Ryan, if you're free to come on and do a collaboration tonight, let me know, and I'll set up a, another stream again. And let me know because I am looking for a Wall fan for uh, tonight because I've been looking everywhere. They haven't replied to my DMs, but I answer your questions to that. Big up, Luca. How are you? Corona, Hawang, at Nuyori, Belgrade, Dawson are all ruled out for Wolves this weekend. And also, well, and also Neto as well. I think you'll beat us very comfortably. Possibly, mate. Yeah. Possibly, I, I, mate. I think so as well. Uh, who's looking forward to the transfer window? I am. Uh, yeah, I, th I, th I think we will sign some good players this summer. I really do. I think, yeah, I think we will get his luck. So um, I'm looking forward to transfer so window. I. I think, I think for me, a striker is the most priority we have to go and sign in the transfer. You can have McGilvery back. Yep, I'm hearing. I'm hearing that um, we're asking for around forty million <laughs> for Enketi. Mate, I'll take forty pounds at this rate for that guy. <laughs> oh, honestly, is that useless? One of the yeah, worst strikers I've ever watched at my football club. Point, I'm having him if we're not going to. I don't think he's good enough anyway to be main man for us. So sometimes just get rid of him. Jesus, that was out for the rest of the season. Oh my you god! You reckon? Yeah, Neto's out for the rest of the season. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, that's very good for us because he's a very. very I won't go near him in the summer. He's too injured. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either. I did at the start of the season because he was playing really well, but yeah, too many injuries. Uh, Ryan G says Neto is out for the season pretty much as well. Tried Dazza Dave. I did DM him, but no response. But one of the Wolves lads. Did get back to me, but they're on holiday at the moment, so of course I couldn't. Big up to Moss. Welcome to the chat. How are you? Uh, morning. So, Syria, you don't watch. Get five clubs. I oh, now I've heard the Euros significant in Premier League clubs petted out the way less of Syria are doing better than the Prem. The Syria is looking very good. It's looking very, very, very good at the moment. Um, Karana, also Nawani Hawang, all says as well, Moss. Yeah, 100%. Big up to Moss. Do check out his YouTube channel. He will yes, be doing a one. Ah, I just put myself in the eye. You were going to watch it on. <laughs> Ow. Semedo oh, is out as well, but forgot about him. We are screwed, says Ryan G. You never know, mate, with this wall side. This wall side, don't underestimate them because they no. are a decent side. Look. So. Yeah, the thing is, we do have a good record against Wolves. They haven't beaten us since uh, 2021, have they? No. They, so. did the double, they did the double over us. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the, the second game at the Molyneux was complete robbery. Like, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> is that that one with oh. the Weeds? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I remember that. The David Louise one was for me, that was never ever a sent off. And for me, no. we had so many chances in that game. We should have been like 3 0 up. Yeah, we played so well first off. And then, oh, I mean, game got thrown away because of one decision. Um, yeah, and then Leno. Oh. Yeah, he gets himself sent off. He does. Yeah, like, you know what I actually said? Um, I said, like, before we played Villa, actually, I was yeah. like, yeah, I look at Wolves, Tottenham, and um, Man United as our three toughest games we have remaining. And now that your players are out, I, I kind of see us slaughtering you, I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll beat them. I think we'll beat them 2-1. Um, I do think they will score. Oh, it's 2-0. Um, oh, I think. 2-0 might sound a, a very good prediction, but 
I do think we will concede. Am I the only fan that is slightly confused about the layout of Wolves' uh, stadium? The, 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 the away fans are basically taking up half of the stadium. I, I don't know why. What's, what is going on there? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, you mean because they're to the side, yeah. We'll talk about it after, Melina, yeah? I'll give me a ring after that, yeah? Yeah, I'll call you after this. I'll oh, yeah, you. we can meet up, Luca. Cele- you celebrate can, if we win. Can actually, you can Josh is going see, as well, I think. You can actually see what I look like in real life, yeah? I'm not much yeah. different in real life. Are you going to be as angry as what you are? Are you going to be as angry in real life if we lose as what you are on stream? <laughs> it's raining. What do you mean by raining? It's raining so, Chelsea tickets because we lost to Bayern, basically. Everyone's uh, giving up their tickets. Oh, Sean. No, we're not going to sign a Tottenham reject. That's not, not happening. Who said that? Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to sign a Tottenham reject. Sure. You know what? I heard something, I heard something earlier today that um, Tottenham wanted Gnabry. Really? Yeah. I mean, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming, mate. Keep, keep, keep dreaming because there's no way Gnabry's going over there. No, way. especially when the guy came out publicly after Bayern battered them seven two. North London is red. Like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way he's going. Over. It's not going to happen because Gnabry's going to stay at Bayern Munich. Why would he want to go to yeah, them down the road? And to be honest, they don't even need a winger. They've got so many. We do. Guys. No, Tottenham don't. I'm on about. Oh, Tottenham. They um, don't, they don't need a winger. They've got Son, who plays up front and also on the wing. They've got Kulevetsky. Maybe a right winger. Maybe oh. Kulevetsky. I mean, Kulevetsky is terrible, though. I don't, I don't see the hype around him. Mm, yeah, I don't think he's not all that. He's, he's a one-trick pony. Always he cuts is. inside and he crosses. That's what he does. But he's an Arsenal fan, though. <laughs> yeah. How's your trip in Germany, sis? Uh, Melina had a good time. Melina had a good time. Uh, Wolves are saying they give me the lowest standard. Well, the funny enough is, Ryan, that apparently Arsenal fans on Ticket Exchange have given up their prior tickets for Wolverhampton Wanderers. So apparently huh? the, the away really? end of, Yeah, Mel Tom How much today. are the tickets? I don't know, but you have to ask Melina. Melina oh, knows well. everything. You have to be going up to Wolves. So the, was it Saturday night, half seven? Never know. Yeah, but night, half a new seven. ground, but I don't know. I'll be doing a match reaction on the coach, so it's uh, be all right. Oh yeah, you're up at uh, Harrogate, yeah. Why yeah. am I making that sound depressing, man? Harrogate's not that bad. It's a nice little ground. Never been. I've never been. So I've been so... once. Yeah. Never but been. You might have to play Crawley in the playoffs. That's quite funny. <laughs> Harrogate for me, it's a three-hour trip for me. So yeah, it's up in Yorkshire, isn't it? Yeah. An early start for me tomorrow, nine o'clock. Get there about midday. I've got to get to Leeds, and then from and then I've got to get a train to Harrogate. It's crazy, but Arsenal are now being linked with Martin Zubimendi as well. These are the stats. Of course, he's got fourteen seventy-three passes, four goals. Doesn't get many goals, but he got one assist, sixteen create chances, thirty games. 47 tackles and 37, 30, 36 fouls. So he does contribute quite a lot and he's very, very defensive and he's very, very mobile in midfield. And I think with him and Declan Rice in that midfield, I'm going to come to Rory on this one. Zubamendi would be perfect for us because to have him with Thomas Barty gone, you have Zubamendi and Declan Rice and you'll be, and you'll be a, allow Martin Odegaard to do what he has to do. Yeah, um, I think Supermendi has played with Odegaard, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I swear he was in that Real Sociedad team when Odegaard was eventually there. Um, but yeah, he would be perfect for Arsenal, I reckon. Um, of course, fans are going to throw in names like Frankie de Jong because of the name and what he did at Ajax. But at the end of the day, the games I've watched of him, very mobile on the ball and he doesn't really often get himself into trouble too often. Um, yeah, great passer. 
and I'm pretty sure the guy can comfortably comfortably play um, number eight as well. I, I, I don't know whether he can, um, whether, he, whether he's more of a defensive player or um, just a left centre mid. But yeah, he, he would be perfect for Arsenal. He, he really would. I would prefer him over Gumaresh, but how old is yeah, he? Yeah. Uh, uh, let's have a look how old. He's a good player. I, I'm I'm interested what people want to do with Jorginho in the summer. Do you want to keep him or, you know keep what I mean? Jorginho I'll, I'll, I'll keep Jorginho for one more season. I think he's solid. What do you do with party? Would you sell him or? Uh, get, um, get rid of him. I think, I th- yeah, I think you've got to sell. Um, oh, I do, I do he- love the guy. I really he's do. Great but... player though. I reckon he's one of our best midfielders when he's fit. But unfortunately, yep. that's not often enough. It's, it's, it's mad that we're not playing him. Yeah, because I saw that pass against Bayern Munich, and not one player in the second leg did that. He passed it through to Saka for the penalty, uh, for the penalty instant, and it was a really good little uh, ball in behind. Subramendi but... is twenty-five years old. He's a good player. I've heard a lot about him that have been linked with yeah. him. Yeah, I don't know too much about Four him. Four goals in thirty appearances. He gets one. It seems all right. Picked a lot of yellow cards. He's never had a red card in his life. He's 25 years old. His height is 1.81. FD Jade would be perfect. Is that Frankie De Jong? Would he start alongside Rodri for Spain? Yeah, Yeah. I think so. Who? Supermendi. Supermendi, I'm not saying Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong's an interesting player. Dutch international. Yeah, Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong, uh, we're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, Frankie De Jong. Yeah, I, I didn't know you meant Moss, F, FTJ. Yeah, it would be. Moss, that would be unbelievable. That would be unbelievable. Yeah. Man, yeah, uh, only God knows. Hello, Eric. Eric. Hello, Eric. Feel free yeah, to share Eric. Eric. Um, Hello, Eric. Eric Ten Hag. Um, <laughs> you'll beat us as well. Moss says, Isaac scoring loads with Zibamendi and uh, Mark. I like yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Well, Sassy, Dad, that I'm would like be good. Mark. It would be brilliant. It'd be like a very good link up. It looks very promising. Yeah. And then, and then, what, if that are available for left back, so Luke will be singing the Super Mick Arteta chant if we, if uh, Isaac and uh, the uh, yeah. Spanish guy comes through. <laughs> We're back to win the Premier or, League. Oh, uh, we've got we'll Super Edu Gaspar. <laughs> he knows exactly what he needs. Best director <laughs> in the club. Arsenal what in the Premier League? <laughs> Oh my god. We've I saw Sam got Bronson, Bronson, Edu Gaspar. He knows exactly what we need. Best the right best director at the club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm cli- I'm hundred percent clipping that. <laughs> Remember 112th minute I said that. <laughs> oh god. Arsenal on the way to uh, win the Premier League next season. But yeah, getting to left back options. I need to have a look. At left back, so we've been linked. So we're gonna yeah, have we definitely don't need a right back in the summer because we've got Tommy Ash, White, have Cedric. He needs to go, get him gone. He, he'll be going, thankfully. Um, um number 25, Lucas Dorado. Never, I swear he plays centre back. I swear he's not a left. Back. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'd love no, when he's, he's a centre back, yeah. Wendell from Porto, the guy that um, did Edison. well against us. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, Vendel from Porto, I wouldn't mind. Alfie right Doherty is on here. This is the one. This is the one who I want. He is quality, man. He's a good player. He's, He's a good forward. Player. Yeah, but is, is he good enough to start games week in, week out? Probably not, but 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 Arsenal, for me, I, 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 he looks very promising for Fulham. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take him as a backup, but we need someone who starts games. We need a world class left back. We haven't had a world class. Yeah, left-back. I don't think I did Anthony Robinson's world class. So good player. Uh, Christian Bianchi, no, not for me. Uh, Cabeasso, no, not for me. Um, Jose Guy is a good shout. Nah, too old. What about Vendel from Porto? I swear the guy's like 35 now. I'm not sure. Must be. I'll have a 33. Look. Jose Guy. I, I, I swear Valencia. Hold no, on. No, he's 28. He's 28. Jeez. Oh, he's Did they even get relegated last season? 
I think so. He's been <laughs> Did they get relegated? That guy. Uh, Luca Nett and Averro, not for me. Rafael Guerrero, not for me. Um, yeah, he's, he's all right. Right. Ben Chilwell, you're taking a piss. <laughs> you can't have to walk the shit. He's not a bad he, he, He's decent. He's decent. Men- nah, not for me. Yeah, I, you know, I like Baldo. This one was good. Ep- I like this one. Is that uh, uh, Epistinia from Brighton? He's a good player. I don't, I don't know if he's been the same player, though, this season. No, he hasn't. But I think that's someone who we should go for. He's a good player, and we signed Ben White from Brighton as well. So I yeah, that's like, true. Um, he's a good player. I, I want that, I'd love that Wendell guy from Porto, base of AK. Oh yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. And against uh, Brazil, Brazil, against England as well for Brazil, he did well. Michael Thomas, yes, yes, yes. Long time no see, Michael Thomas. How are you doing, Michael Thomas? You remember me? Remember, do you remember my old channel? Arsenal vlogs. <laughs> yeah, you just said it. That was a com- that was a comedy channel. Remember that. Robinson is very good, says Ryan G. Uh, we move on to the next left back as well. Someone mentioned Demarco as well. I don't know who that is. Samuel Lino. He's all right. He's all right, Lino. Fine wing back, Evolution Brazilian winger. <laughs> but look who's up next. Sinchenko in the top ten. Alexander Zinchenko. Not for me. Oh uh, God. Miguel Gutierrez. No. Oh, he's him. he's good. He's good. Italian international from Tottenham. What do you think about him? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to sign anyone from Tottenham. They ain't gonna come to Arsenal. <laughs> Fairly uh, Mendy, yeah. But nah, not for me. Uh, Luke Luke, Luke Shaw's <laughs> in the top six. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ben Joe or Luke Shaw? Are you having a laugh, man? What this is, is this? Yeah, DeMarco's good? good. I like DeMarco. Very good. Josh, if you're listening to this, DeMarco as well. Um, I still can't believe Luke Shaw's in the top six. Sure. Andy Robinson, not going to happen. Don't need to mention that. Avonso Davis, he's the one. He's the one. Oh, he's going to Real Madrid. Yeah, Real Madrid. I'd love him, but he, yeah, that's unrealistic. I, I, I don't think he's actually a left, but I think he's more of a winger. Exactly. I don't think he's built for that left back position. Well, that Dean Lewin. Dean yeah. Lewin. That, that that's my number one target, left back. I need to look into this guy, man. I've, Grimal- I've, you don't know. You don't know Alex Grimaldo is Luca. You have Wait, no, we still don't know who that is. Nuno Tavares. <laughs> you seriously not considering keeping Nuno Tavares, are you, Moss? There's, there's no mean? way. Basically, Grimaldo's a left back, but he's been kind of playing as a wing back. This season, the guy's literally got 21 goal contributions in 29 games for really? Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, and he can play that inverted role. Yeah, he's very good, man. I'd, I'll tell you what, I'd pay good money to get him in, yeah. Grimaldo, yeah. Wendell, there's, there's quite a few. Um, then who's number one, then? Who is possibly better than Grimaldo this season? They're gonna, they're gonna there's not the really court. anyone. There's not really anyone uh, who's actually better because who, who's, have, who's number have, one? Yeah, but who, who's number one on here? Oh, yeah, Hernandez. Yeah, and and interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I hear that. But has he been better than Maldo this season? Teo Hernandez is interesting because I think he's going to he's going to want to leave AC Milan. I'm not too sure if they're... <laughs> that's quality. I'm not too sure no, if they're going to want to. I'm not sure if they're in the... No, they will be in the Champions League actually next season. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, yeah, they will be now. Never mind. Maybe he won't leave, to be fair. Um, Any more comments? Yeah, I remember that, Sean, as well. Wendell <laughs> as well. Um, LB, we still... Oh, no, not, not Nuno Tavares. Nuno Tavares. <laughs> What next? We might as well bring back side class and that's Moss from Atlanta. Well. Look at all these lists, goalkeepers. Let's have a look at goalkeepers because they're out Aaron Ramsey. You know yeah, we will need a goalkeeper in the near future. Someone who is world class. 25 list of goalkeepers. Who did this guy even play? Benfica? Yeah, I've, I've actually never heard of him. Never heard of that guy. Wojciech Szczesny as a backup. Oh, oh bring back the Szczes, man. Bring back the Szczes. Uh, nah, 33. <laughs> 
not for me. I don't know who that is. I pass. Who does he even play for? <laughs> who the hell is that? Excellent Italian goal was produced at Inter Milan's academy. Monza, so, AFC Monza's goalkeeper. Monza has a potential replacement at AC Milan. Interesting. Mama. Giorgi Mamorada Javivi. Never heard of him. 2023 linked with you at Georgini oh, International. Not for me. Um, oh my days. <laughs> I've not really heard of many of these. Well, he beat Liverpool, so. Burn Leno oh, Burn Leno! <laughs> Get him uh, back. No way. He's he's a good one. He's someone who I like. Yeah. Switzerland. I don't know, I've never really rated Sommer, to be honest. 35 years old. Yeah, 35. We need someone who's good for now. So I'm Be guessing nice. Ramsdale's going to go in the summer, definitely. Um, Very nice, uh, Simon. Because we're definitely going to sign Raya. Um, if Ramsdale's on here. Number Fring seven, Pong yeah. at right back. Yeah, I'd love Fring Pong. Oh, last no, I can't no. See it get, get, get these Tottenham scrubs yeah. out of my face. Jordan, Jordan, Pickford, Jordan Pickford's on here. Raya's in there. Oh. To be fair, Raya's got the most clean sheets in the league. So, yes. yeah. Yeah, he's uh, been good. He's been good, Raya. Um, uh, get me Emilio yeah. Martinez back. It's not going to happen. Uh, what's yeah. he oh, no, nah, that, that, that's the one I can't believe man. that guy's at Aston Villa. Aston yeah, Villa, really? Yeah, they're, Crazy. They're probably going to win the Conference League, I think, maybe. Probably. Then, then, they'll, then they'll come to our well, ground. This one. It is good. The cost then, of, if they win the conference, they'll come to our ground and sing Champions of Europe. We know what we are, probably, like West Ham did. Yeah. 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 Much, yeah. We beat Aston Villa. So we so. did. I was there. What day? That's why. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't hate Aston Villa for our speed because I know we lost twice to them, but I've, I've always got the last laugh over them because we beat them in the cup. But in, in terms of Arsenal, yeah. Donna Rumor number nine. But that comeback of Villa Park last year was brilliant. So, uh, um, what? What? <laughs> in the top eight, <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> well, why are there so many Man United players in the top 10? And Martinez should, should should be at least top three, and also Villa probably might get top four as well. Yeah, Jan Oblak, interesting. Yeah, he's a bit older, I suppose. I don't know, he'd compete with Rafa for number one, I reckon. Yeah, he would. That's so what Sergio Milinkovic Savic is, isn't it? We want, we want, we want someone it? who can go yeah. and compete with, with um, David Raya for number one. We need, we need someone. How is Mike Mignan only even five? Yeah, I know, Charlie. I don't think he'll leave at AC Milan. Who could possibly be. Oh, oh, no. to Stegen. No yeah, chance. Stegen, there's no way to Stegen is ahead of Mignan right now. He's he, he, he been a bar. Yeah, is, is that Thibaut Courtois? Yeah, no, Edison, come on. There's no way Edison's two. <laughs> Alison and Edison. What's this? Alison, man? How is Edison number two? What's it? Are you sure you're not looking at like players to sign on EA Sports FC career mode or saying? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Alison, Manny yeah, Jordan. Yeah. We, Jor- we need to see the best strikers as well. I, I'd, I'd pay to Jordan's face if we signed Allison off him, right? He'd go mad. Yeah. The top 25. We need a backup to Bakai Saka, right? <laughs> and this is a guy I'd actually take, you know. Sancho, why? Yes. Yes, he's, he's, he's played well for Dortmund, actually. I don't know about Sancho, man. If, if, if you watch him play, you'll understand. He really flopped at Man United. Yeah, I know. Everyone does. <laughs> Alexis was one of my favourite players at Arsenal. He what was. happened? Went to United that his last away game against West Brom. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know who that I've is. actually never heard of that guy. Baradi, <laughs> yes, your favourite player. Baradi. Yes, Josh. Ferran Torres. Nah. Nah, not now. Uh, Di Maria. Maybe a prime Di Maria, but not now. Yeah, oh, I yeah, agree. Yeah, another one who flopped at Man United. Anyone flops at Man United. True, yeah, no, nah, it's true. They all, they all have, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Johan Bacioko. It, it'll be good, you know. Man. man United. 
Buddy Bros. I never. He's a good player. He's a good player. Yeah, but... another good player. He'll stay at PSG. He'll probably be happy there. He's guessing he's. I don't know what way he's from. Yeah. Moussa Diaby was the one, man. Moussa Diaby was the one. He's a good player. Really? But I reckon... He's quality. I, I don't man. know. He's, he's already got in the Villa team this year. Yeah, yeah but he's someone. Really he's well. Someone but... who I do, he is someone who I do think we should have really gone in the transfer window because. Yeah. He, he was good at the start of the season. I think he's tailed off slightly. Yeah, he has. Um, moving on to the next option, um, of course, Ria Mares. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm, yeah, yeah. Take Mares. Take Mares. I, I, I think Mares is quality, man. I, I honestly thought we would have got Mares, but when he was at Leicester. The following season after when he won his first league title, I thought that was the season where we were going to get Mares. Uh, Yamal, nah, not for me. Yeah, is it, he, he, he is a little bit too young, but he's a great player. Leon Bailey. He's he's decent. He's had a great season. Great season. Neto. Uh, this, is a, this is another one. Hmm. Ah, Pierre's in the top it. 11. Josh, ah. if you're listening to this, Chiesa, Chiesa as well. Um, he's in the top 11 as well. Uh, moving on to Gnabry in the top 10. Yep. Take him. Yeah, I guess so. Kusevesti no. ahead of Gnabry. Kusevesti in ninth. Oh, my God. These rankings are terrible. They are Dembele, no. Dembele, nah. Rafinha. Rafinha, I'll take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cole Palmer ahead of a Cole yeah, Palmer. Yeah, I'll take. Cole Palmer, Palmer ahead of Gnabry. Yeah, to be, well, to be fair, Cole Palmer has been balling out this season. So. Yeah. Sane, yeah, that's Rodrigo number one. Uh, Rodrigo, yes. Messi, no. <laughs> Messi. He's more of a striker, though. Saka ahead of Messi. What? I think I think I think Messi's more of a striker, to be honest. Of course, Salah number one. Saka ahead of Lionel Messi. Yeah, I, I think it was based on over the last year. Messi, obviously. Yeah, buying all these like Mares. Mares is a baller, man. I hundred percent take. Yeah, Messi was Messi was playing as Not a now, striker. Though, for Argentina, no. I think that's why. Um, yeah, I think that's why Saka's ahead of him, but obviously he's nowhere near Messi. Yeah, that is true. Messi isn't a winger anymore, so I think I think they're basing the whole wingers scenario on you know actual wingers who have played wingers. Uh, sorry, as wingers their entire career, Saka's played. As a winger, more than Messi, so hundred yeah, percent. Well, as of recently, so uh, Messi isn't a winger, but anymore. But to be honest, I don't know why they put him. Messi plays in the number ten role. Yeah, I know he does. He plays. He plays. He plays in that um, new um, solution. He plays in that new role. Inter, yeah. got, a, Inter got a good still get. I don't know who that is. It's hilarious that Man United fans think they're getting Zidane as manager next season. I'm looking yeah. forward to the transfer window. About a hundred rumours a day from Arsenal. <laughs> Hi, this is Luca ASC here. We're back here for the summer transfer window to Arsenal. <laughs> and uh, we've been linked to Link FC every single day. <laughs> yeah. Hi, this is Hi, this is Josh. Transfer daily every single day. Oh, yeah. Me. His channel is going to be like the same thing. Like, yeah. Same links, the same rumours. There'll probably be there'll probably be another link to Dracula as well. No, 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 no. Oh my <laughs> days! Great <laughs> I've ever sat through. You know what? I'm going to actually find an article of Julian Draxler. He played for Al Hill. The thing is, the thing is, he was my dream signing at the time. Man's only thirty. I, 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 lo I loved him. Right. I, I love watching him in his prime. Benzema as well. You'd be one that used to be linked every summer. Oh, Benzema. 
<laughs> Arsenal linked to Julian Draxler, fourth of all. We put a pound extra on. Oh my god! Arsenal interest in signing Julian Draxler with Chelsea, thirteenth of October, first of October, two thousand thirteen. <laughs> yeah, J- J- Jamie Vardy as well. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Suarez yeah, as well. We, when we put a pound extra on for him. <laughs> the thing is, oh, Jamie Arsenal, Vardy man. was about to sign for Arsenal, but Wenger wanted to put him as a winger. <laughs> and no. like... you know what I think he was looking for schools in London for his children oh okay that's interesting yes he, he was very he was very close he was how many close players have we had and last few years we have got better with it like when we've gone for like Declan Rice I thought wasn't going to happen we got that yeah. over the line there's been so many over the like, last Yo, you can... so many there's been so yeah, you can trace players. it back to um, the Highbury days. We even had players that rejected us. Like we nearly signed Ronaldo in two thousand and three. Yeah, yeah but we could have had Ronaldo and Thierry Henry in the same squad. That 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 would be illegal. Would have been yeah. illegal if we had both Ronaldo and Henri and, and Slatan, Burkamp in the same. Slatan, oh my god, Slatan didn't want to sign for us. Yeah, Yaya Toure, I think, was another one. He played in a friendly in 2003 against Barnet. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Guys, what. we're going to wrap the stream now. I think we've covered pretty much everything. We've been going for 131 minutes. And uh, Rory, Charlie and Mark, um, thank you very much for coming on and everyone in the chat as well. Good stream, man. Good hour and a half. Good luck uh, to everyone, nice guys. Yeah. And guys, content-wise, which is coming up, maybe tonight I'll upload a Wolves preview as well. I'll let everyone know and I'll try and post it. Uh, and also you can catch Josh. Josh is doing a couple of streams today. He's got a stream tonight. I think it's 7 p.m., What similar to what we've done this. So I'll probably jump on his channel later on and discuss about that. And then he's got a Wolves preview tonight as well. And, of course, tonight I may upload a Wolves preview. But tomorrow, mat- match day vlog, match day match reaction, of course. As well, so both are coming out. Match reaction straight after the game. Wolves beat the Arsenal. Let's like Arsenal. We'll be ranting on the bus if we lose, then Luca. <laughs> Probably, yeah, but I like to keep my mouth shut. So, <laughs> and then of course, match day vlog, match day experience. Howagut versus MK Dons as well as as Luca AFC is making his first trip to Howagut, and um, and then Wolverhampton Wanderers match reaction, and then that's maybe we'll stop up. off at the service station. I will probably get stuck in Howagut in the village. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to get someone to come and help me, mate. And then, but guys, Rory, what have you got coming up on your channel, man? Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I've got to do some filming this weekend for a movie that I've got prepared. That's about it, really. It's not going to get released on YouTube. Um, um, yeah, it's not going to get released in obviously recently because it is a movie and it's going to take quite a long time to edit so it'll be coming in the upcoming months um but yeah i've got to do more filming this weekend and i have to turn up to um college for four days instead of three days um i'm pretty sure from now until we finish for the year so that's um that's fun so i don't know i've, I've resisted uploading um over recent week because of the amount of stuff i have going on beyond the state beyond the scenes including my fmps at college as well it's just yeah once i get them done i think and obviously maths and english that's a bloody nightmare as well so yeah i think i have taken a pause from the uploads but i think they will return um, at some point, it's just a matter of when. So, Charlie, have you got anything coming up? Um, not really. Maybe an Arsenal Chelsea vlog. Uh, probably a multi-stream match reaction with Josh tomorrow. That's it, really. Um, maybe one or two match reactions this weekend. That's it, really. And if my phone Any doesn't run out quickly, about Stevenage. No, nah, no, nah, nothing about Stevenage. I don't really do. Uh, go meet, go meet 
Go and meet um, Oxford. Go meet the Oxford vlogger, Jack Ward. <laughs> no, I'm not there tonight. I'm watching yeah. it. We're live on Sky Sports, anyone that wants to watch. Um, it's on I Sky think... tonight? Yeah, we are. Ooh, I actually might do a match reaction to that. <laughs> Even that. Even match that. reaction to Oxford 6, Stephen, is no problem. <laughs> but, no, um, yeah. yeah, that's it, really. I'll probably do an Arsenal Chelsea vlog. Um, yeah, like a mini one, depending on how my phone uh, is throughout the day, but Mel wants a backstage link, but um, no, yeah, Mel, that's it, really. I can't see it. Mel, I can't see you backstage. I'll be watching the Arsenal, I'll be watching the Oxford Stevenage game tonight. We've got nothing to play for, but I'd like a win, and that's it, really. And I want Arsenal to win tomorrow, so um, yeah, nothing yeah. major, just a few multi stream match reactions and probably an Arsenal Chelsea vlog. Um, I'm looking forward to that game on Tuesday. In the um, North Bank, so hopefully the atmosphere is bouncing. I need it to be bouncing. I don't want it to be too quiet. Of course, hundred percent. I don't think it will be though. London derby, Chelsea fans will be up for it. We'll be up for it. They'll be up for it. Chelsea fans are going to be up for that game. Yeah. Um, now, if we beat Wolves, you know what I mean. Then there's there's still something to play for. Of course, there is. It is. But if you lose tomorrow, I'll be well, oh, I'll be livid. But guys, we're going to wrap the stream from here and, um, of course, we will maybe see you tonight for a Wolves preview or maybe a match reaction uh, of Oxford v. Steven. <laughs> I never thought I'd see someone doing Oxford v. Steven in my life. Track. Get all the Oxford fans coming in when I put loads of hashtags. Um, but no, of course, tonight... Probably, probably be doing a match match preview for Wolves v Arsenal, um, and then tomorrow double uploads, have a good vlog, and also match reaction for Arsenal v Wolves straight after the game as soon as those tags come on on YouTube, and then that's what's coming up over the weekend. So plenty of content coming out throughout the week and leading up to that Chelsea game. Probably do a Chelsea preview on Sunday. Got to try and find a Chelsea fan. But guys, we're ending the video from here. Have a lovely Friday, whatever you're doing. Take care. And it's we a have everyone who's been watching.